All right. Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before I get started, as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, Wahabrachakarash, which Yahweh, that's the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, that's whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, that's his true name, and the Rachakwadash, that is the Holy Spirit. And I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well in the scriptures. And salutations to all the brothers out there who are pushing his word in all truth and in all sincerity. You know, I want to do a quick lesson that was uh, made by this uh, individual, all right, this ignorant statement, okay? And it was um, a comment that he posted on the Apostles' uh, live stream page, okay, where they do, uh, you know, their, you know, their camp, um... You know sessions okay and this was uh the uh post camp you know breakdown of isaiah the 14th chapter okay and the brothers were you know beautifully you know breaking this um this chapter down and as they're breaking it, uh this chapter down they went in um to the book of ezekiel for a moment it was a precept that was brought out it was i believe ezekiel the 38th chapter if i'm not mistaken and in that chapter, it talks about how there's going to be continual employment for the heathen in the kingdom of heaven. All right. And this is what the individual, you know, said. All right. He put, you really think heathen hands will build the kingdom of heaven? No. And the brother um, replied with Isaiah 60, 10 through 12, which is a beautiful scripture here. And I'm going to read it. It says, and the sons of strangers, meaning the heathens, shall build up thy walls. Okay? Meaning they're going to build our kingdom up. Okay? And their king shall minister unto thee. For in my wrath I smote thee, but in my favor have I had mercy on thee. And that's what the Lord did unto us. Alright? He smote us in his wrath. Okay? But he's going to ultimately have mercy on the nation of Israel. Let me keep reading. Therefore, thy gates shall be open continually. They shall not be shut day nor night, that men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles, and that their kings may be brought. All right, and this is going into the kingdom where our gates are going to be open. Okay, and the reason why we're going to be able to do that is because no heathen is going to be able to take us down in the kingdom. See, in the ancient times. The gates were only open during the uh, the daytime. At nighttime, they, they had that closed. All right, or when it was a time of war, they they closed the gates to make sure no uh, you know no enemy can you know come into the city. But see, we're not going to be uh, we're not going to be worrying about that. Hey, these heathens are going to come in, you know, at all hours of the day and night to bring their um their goods to us because they're going to have to pay tribute okay now let's keep reading for the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish yea those nations shall be utterly wasted all right and that's going to be the punishment to those who are going to disobey if you don't want to you know get in line you're going to have to deal with the consequences all right now um i'm going to keep reading and you had a uh, another brother uh, post this. He says, kings and priests built this kingdom for Esau. Hell, they'll build ours. Or hell, they're building ours. And this guy goes, highly doubt they were kings and priests. And I want to get a precept to, um, to uh, prove that that man is wrong. Okay? And this is the book of Ezra, chapter 9, verse 7. And it reads here, since the days of our fathers have been so like since the days of our fathers have we been in a great trespass unto this day and for our iniquities have we our kings and our priests been delivered into the hands hand of the kings of the lands meaning um these heathens okay the lord allowed them to conquer us right and it says here to the sword meaning you had some of our kings and priests and others of our nation 
right? They were put to death, okay? To the captivity, meaning they were put into slavery, right? Let's keep reading. And to a spoil, meaning they took our, you know, belongings. And to confusion of face as it is this day. And when you go into that word confusion, it goes into being ashamed. Which, when you're in captivity under another nation, when you're conquered by another nation, you should be ashamed. Okay? You should have your head low. Because now you are subjugated to another nation. And they're calling the shots. Okay? They're telling you what to do. Okay? And what not to do. You see? All right? You know? But hey, one of the things that said, what? We're going to be put into captivity. And when you're in captivity... That means you're working for another nation. They're telling you when to get up, when to go to sleep, when to eat, what what to build, what to you know, uh, 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 you know, knock down, etc. Right? What to plant? You know what the uh, when to harvest, etc. You see, we had to do that. You know, for you know all these other nations when we were you know subjugated to them. So when we get into um, our rulership, they're going to do the same. Okay? They're going to do the same. Like, I, I like see people like this. Now, I'll be wondering if they're, you know... Sometimes I'll be wondering, is, is this like a, a plant by Esau? Is this just some, you know, uh, some agent just to stir up some controversy? Or, or is this somebody just that, one, willingly ignorant? All right? Because you, you, you got to be a complete, you know... A demon to believe that the Israelites didn't build up, you know, uh, 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 um, these nations' kingdom. In specific, this kingdom right here. Okay? Here in America. Alright? You, you gotta be a complete, you know, demon to believe that. Or to try to even push that, that narrative. Alright? You know? Yes, yeah, so you, you've been, we, 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 we've been building this place... Say since it got established, all right. You know we we've been building these uh even to this day, man. Because I was gonna mention how we built their houses. To this day, we still do that. Hey, when when you go into you know uh, uh you know these construction sites, all you see is Israelites working. Do they uh uh, uh, uh are they gonna lie their head in these neighborhoods, in these homes? No. They build it for their uh, 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 for the um, oppressor, man. Starting with Esau to the other nations. Okay? You see? Let me get this real quick. Let's get Deuteronomy 28. And these are curses. These are curses. Alright, that the Lord, it, it, you know, He was to put on us. And, and still has on us. Okay? Let me see, um... Let me get this. This is uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 30. Thou shalt betroth a wife, and another man shall lie with her. Thou shalt build a house, and thou shalt not dwell therein. Thou shalt plant a vineyard, and shalt not gather the grapes thereof. You see? We were to build these, these homes of these uh, uh, heathens. Hey, they're vineyards. And we weren't going to uh, uh, reap the benefits of these things. So yes, we did build this kingdom. And yes, our kings and priests did go into slavery. Okay? Yes. You got to remember too, there's a thing in the Bible called reincarnation. So w whether it, it was right there on the spot, they, they, they were building up an, um, uh, uh, another nation's kingdom, or whether it be when they uh, uh, were reincarnated. Yes, it happened. Okay. My bad, I'm looking at this one. Here we go. This is uh Deuteronomy twenty eight and thirty six. Now the Lord shall bring thee and thy king, which thou shalt set over thee. Unto a nation which that which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, and there shall thou serve other gods wood and stone. Okay? Right there just shows you how 
our kings went into slavery too, man. Simple as that. All right. And look, I got a precept here. Another one. Probably ended off with this. This is um the uh, the book of what is this? Wisdom of Solomon, I believe, the 18th chapter. This is yep, Wisdom of Solomon. The uh, 18th chapter and the 11th verse and it reads here the master and the servant were punished after one manner and like as the king so suffered the common person and this is going into um, the time of uh, of uh, Egypt all right but I'll say this like, like the Egyptians right hey from Pharaoh on down they dealt with the punishments that's what happened unto our nation too a hey, from the a hey, our, our kings to our priests to the common person we all went through um you know we, 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 we've all experienced the curses of deuteronomy the 28th chapter and also various other curses throughout the bible no one was an exception okay hey the lord punishes uh uh, uh nations and also punishes uh, uh individuals too okay for their specific, you know, trespasses. All right. But, um, you know, that's pretty much it, man. I just wanted just to get a couple scriptures, you know, just to prove a point. You know, I saw this, you know, uh, um, you know, this comment and, and the uh, spirit hopped on me to, uh, to do a lesson, you know, because hey, we got to keep pushing that edification out there. You know, so who, hopefully whoever was listening was edified by this lesson. All right, and with that, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to all you brothers out there. Shalom and a Baba Ball.